Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're having a look at the Wider 2. Now they make a Wider 1, a Wider 4, a Wider 3 and they make a Wider 2. The Wider 2 is only, it's more of a, a heavier coating gun. So it's available in, I think it's available in 1.5, 1.8 which is this one. They do a 2.5 and a 2 as well I think. Um, the only reason I got this, this th these are side cup guns. All the wider twos are either side cup guns if you want a gravity fed. If you want a, a pressure fed, then obviously it's, it's pressure fed, fed from underneath. Um, but there's not a huge range and there's not a huge lot to choose from. I only got this because it, it, I found it on eBay and nobody else bid on it and I picked it up for 58 GB pounds uh, and the guy said it hadn't been used and I got it through and it hadn't been used now I thought I was being rather clever in that you know I'd got a, a cheap little gun here that I can use and just try and you know chat to you guys about etc etc uh, what I didn't realize it didn't come with a cup what I didn't realize is that it's actually a different cup fitting than the the wider ones and the W101s etc all the all the normal I say normal all the other side cup by water guns take a quarter inch thread quarter inch BSP thread this actually takes a three eighth thread so I ended up buying the gun and then realised that I didn't have any cups to fit it at all so I ended up having to buy a, a cup from uh, Painting Tools Japan for it. So the whole lot altogether, I think the cup cost me about £30 because I, I got it from um, uh, I got it from them when I got other things as well. So I didn't sort of pay, po well you do pay a bit of postage, but not a lot of postage on top of the cup. So putting the two together, this thing cost me, uh, you know, I've got to do maths now, haven't I? What's that? About, about £88, 88 GB pounds altogether. So, you know, I, I haven't invested a lot of money in it, but I thoroughly enjoy it. It's a lovely, lovely gun to use. I quite like the side cups. I know a lot of people would be saying, oh, not side cups. But, you know, I find them, I find them great. In fact, I'd, I'd probably prefer a side cup if I had to choose. Um, but, you know, you, don't, you really don't notice it once you, once you get going with it, that it is a side cup. I like it because it... It tends to, although it makes the guns a bit wider, it tends to make them a bit shorter. And for the things that I do, the the, the shorter, the stubbiness of it is better than the, um, you know, the height really, having too much height. But um, that's one of the reasons I often use smaller cups because I, I just prefer not having, you know, such a top heavy gun really. But yeah, I, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, it, this is in 1.8. It's a, so it's a primer gun, but what, what it is, what a wider 2 is, it's effectively a wider 4, but with a side cup. Everything else is, is oh, I was going to say everything else is the same. A lot of it is the same, but what this actually comes with, it comes with a K2 cap. Now I've got a uh, Kaiwami 4, Kaiwami 4 and the wider 4 are exactly the same body, uh, they're just different markings on it and they normally come with different caps now with the wider 4 the BA4J cap is the cap they use for all the um, the whole series so 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.6 and 1.8 so that's the same cap for the entire range whereas with the wider they actually change the caps um, you know, so you 1.3 and 1.4 and 1.6 has a certain cap. 1.2 has a different cap. Your 1.8 has a different cap. And I think that's that's much, much better. Because on something like this, this comes with a K2 cap. And it's much better at primer than the Kaiwami 4 with the one in the 1.8 with the BA4J cap, which is the cap it comes with. So I, I was initially thinking that I was going to find this was very very similar um, to work with but it, it's actually much better it's a superb primer gun if you don't mind the side cap I mean even if you pay full price for one of these 
Uh, I think Painting Tools Japan sell them. Other Japanese sellers will sell them as well. Um, I, th I think you'll find that they, they, they sell for about £190, £180, plus a cup. You're going to have to get a cup if you haven't got a cup. Uh, I presume you can get a PPS adapter in a 3.8 thread. You must be able to, because some other guns, so it, what it is, it's a full, it's a full size gun, side cup, uh, thread size. So most of the guns that I've got are midi gun, mini guns or midi guns. And as I say, they take a quarter each. But because these can put out more fluid, because they're bigger, they flow more air, uh, they push out more fluid, you actually need the, the 3 8 fitting because it's just got a bigger hole. It just allows more material through. I didn't even realize that or think about that. Um, but as I say, I, you know, I got the cup and it, it's absolutely fine. But you see the way this lays primer on it, it lays it very, very well. Um, I initially, you'll see there's, or coming up, you'll see there's two different pattern sizes. Um, one I used for the first one on the tank. I put it at about three and a half out to start with, three and a half out on the fluid. Full fluid is about five out on the fluid. And you'll see the difference, the actual pattern, um, or see the difference putting that fluid out makes to the pattern. Uh, when I open it fully up, I'm doing a, a bike a tank and also a car panel as well. I just wanted two of them in primer. Um, and you'll see, when you, when you see the spray out coming up now for the car panel, this is on, this is on full fluid compared to the three and a half out which I was doing on the uh, the bike tank because it, it's a, it's a smaller area and I just didn't want that much fluid coming out. But you get a really nice wet pattern, which is something you don't do with the Kaiwami. Even the Kaiwami Four, I'm using the same flu the same fluid, the same material, which is um, it's just a, a normal 2K primer, but it's thinned exactly the same. Normally about 10%. It's exactly the same primer out of the same tin in fact so it's the same batch uh, and, and you'll see that when I used the Kaiwami 4 for primer it just didn't seem to put out that much, much, much material but you can see with the K2 cap it puts out loads of material when you have it on full fluid and I just found it, it, it an absolute joy to use because I tend to like a, a, a primer gun you like to like it to put out the fluid because it's a thicker material uh, if your if your guns holding back in any way that's with the tip size or, or the amount of air going through the cap it tends to struggle unless you thin the stuff down it tends to struggle if you've got a big enough tip and I think that's why I like the F1 um, F160 the ANI gun that I've got because I've got that in 1.9 and that seems to suit the primer I use a bit better but this was in 1.8 thinned it exactly the same way and it was an absolute joy to use it, it really did it really did whack it out lays it on nice and smooth it's a high build primer so it's never going to be super smooth it's not a wet on wet primer or um, I can't remember what you call it in the states is it a primer surfacer no I can't remember now but it, it's the primer you use when you're priming new components and the idea is that you you just uh, prime and then go straight over with your base. You don't need to sand it or anything like this. This is a high build primer, so it would need, it would need sanding anyway. Um, although I have started to try and use this as a bit of a, a wet on wet primer, and it, it seems to work well. You just have to thin it more, but you have to be careful because you can get dye back. If you thin primers down too much, uh, they can uh, shrinkage. Sorry, not dye back. They can shrink, so it's not what it seems when you uh, initially do it. But yeah, no, I could use this with about 10% 10, 10 thinners, uh, and it did a, it did a cracking job. Puts it out really, really nice. So highly, highly recommended. Um, really good gun. Just think of it as I say, as a side cup wider four. Uh, you don't see them much, and I'm really pleased I got it. I don't use it often um, because I've got quite a few different primer, primer guns but uh, when I do use it it reminds me of how good how good it is and for the money I paid as I say about £88 altogether I realise you're probably not going to be able to get the same deal as I did but 
because uh, it was used but wasn't used if that makes sense. The cup bottom away is a PC4, not to be confused with the PC4S. The PC4S is the standard 400 milliliter cup and comes with a, a, a quarter inch thread. The PC4 without the S is a 3 8 cup. Again, 400 milliliters, which seems to do most of the things I, uh, I need it for. But it, it comes with a larger 3 8 thread. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And you keep watching them, and I'll keep them coming. Come in. Just to say thanks to everybody that subscribed, etc. It is much appreciated, and thanks for all the comments and that. Uh, I don't seem to get too many bad ones, which is great. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.